Hey, how's it going? It's Dan from Snap's Brain Training. So, here's your brain trick of the day. Uh, not being completely involved in uh, having high stimulus, um, quick activities. So what are these high stimulus, quick activities? Well, uh, one is um, Twitter, Facebook, um, different types of emails, and this whole world that we live in of being constantly hooked and plugged into this electronic interface where we're kind of um, reacting to these electronics instead of um, <laughs> internal having internal peace and uh, being able to um, decide, make your moves and decide what you're going to do than being reactive to these uh, types of um, stimulus. So most people that are operating in today's society, most normal members of today's society, are getting these little stimulus hits, um, little adrenaline hits every time they get like a Facebook notification or a Twitter tweet. I don't really use Twitter, but <laughs> I guess that's what it does. A Twitter tweet or a, a, um, you know, Instagram or all these really high f frequency types of um, social media that they're, they're kind of uh, plugged into. And um, the problem with this is that it creates a really short attention span. And uh, I believe this, <laughs> there's been studies that's been linked to uh, short-term memory loss you know, uh, some other some other issues, but it's just a general loss of attention is what we generally see uh, with people that are constantly linked up to these um, to this Twitter or Facebook and other um, social media platforms. So, uh, if you think about it, you know, think about how many different tweets, how many text messages you get per day, different phone calls, how those things pretty much are, are running your life. Every time you get one, you get excited. Uh, you know, it's making or breaking your day. You're kind of um, getting this uh, external stimulus from these uh, messages, and it's kind of just cutting your attention span. Whatever you're doing um, that was a long-term <laughs> attention that you could have had is now getting cut up into these little seg segments between texts and um, different uh, social <laughs> things that you're getting. So uh, I don't think anyone here is just going to completely put down their phone and. Um, you know, continue continue their their life without a phone, and and you know, obviously that would be somewhat ideal if you wanted you know, really high amount of attention and short term memory, and be really you know internally driven. That would be could give you you know a lot of those things really quickly. But but no one is going to really do that. So, I guess my advice and the brain check of the day to to increase your attention and uh, short term memory, is to cut out, for you know period of a day, let's say you have, you know, an hour or two hours, cut out all social media. And that means, you know, if you can, turning off your phone or, or turning off the ability for it to make noise, so you just don't deal with it for two hours, turning off the TV, shutting off these things, and having a long-term, uh, you know, exercise, hopefully a brain exercise, but, you know, it could be reading, writing, whatever you're doing, you know, math, uh, you know, maybe you're doing some work assignment and really concentrate and focus on that for an extended period of time. And that will kind of build your willpower in, and your attention and your short term memory over time if you just continue with those goals. See, see most people that are have these short term attention things, they can't really think um, you know, for a longer period of time than like <laughs> than like five seconds or something, or they can't think into the future as as well because they're constantly the future is getting kind of pushed in their face, like they're, rea they're reacting to the stimulus versus you, them putting out, you know, their creativity and their own ideas. Now that might have been a little too advanced of a concept for this, but pretty much all I'm suggesting here, and um, you know, there's other lots of other, you know, renowned doctors that would suggest that all just cutting out your, your media time for, for, you know, let's say you just do it for 45 minutes out of the day. That, that gives you some peace of mind that lets your mind kind of, you know, let, lets your mind kind of reset and not have to constantly be reacting from the, the stimulus that you're always receiving. It's like taking the needle out of the, um, you know, the addict's arm and, and letting him, you know, or her uh, kind of recover for a little bit. And um, that, that might have been a little vulgar, so I apologize for that. But my, my point is give yourself some time, give yourself a break. You know, you don't have to be a slave to these, you know, mobile devices or, you know, telephones or whatever, whatever it is, computers. Uh, so give yourself the time. Let that be your time that you can really um, focus on yourself and just focus on, you know, accomplishing your goals, your long-term goals. So thank you and uh, until next time.